So I woke up a few days ago and I was like, hey, I know what I want to do today. I want to make a 1 to 100 Google Gear ratio out of Lego. And so I did. But first, what actually is a Google? It's 1 followed by 100 zeros, or 1 times 10 to the 100th power. With that being said, 100 Googles would be 1 followed by 102 zeros, or 1 times 10 to the 102nd power. See, that's pretty simple. Simple as finding a 1 by 5. Anyway, I plan to build this by putting 74 1 to 24 gear ratios in series. You heard that right, 74. Since the resulting gear ratio is over 100 Google, I will add a 9 to 7 gear ratio at the end. What this does is just push the gear ratio closer to the 100 Google that we're looking for. So to start the process, I ordered some parts from Bricklink and they came a few days later. So now I have to assemble this monstrosity, which took an ungodly amount of time to do. And, to add insult to injury, I also encountered some problems during the building process itself. Oh frick, I'm out of worm gears. And after I was done, I was left with this. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I found a way to condense it down to 3 feet, which is a little better. This still wasn't compact enough for my liking, so I split it up into 5 sections and linked them together using chains and gears. Just look at this thing, in all of its glory, it's all compact and stuff. If you notice, I am using the red knockoff motor from my knockoff motor video, and the reason why is because it spins much faster than the genuine LEGO ones. Here I'm showing you a time lapse of 5 days with the input being spun at 750 RPMs. Let's see how far the output turned after 5 days. But no seriously, even if it did spin for 5 days, you would see nothing on the output. Here's a real 15 second time lapse of this thing working for an hour. You can barely see the third worm gear moving. As a matter of fact, if I let this thing run for a trillion years, or a quadrillion years, you would still notice no movement on the output. Okay then, so how long would it take for the output to make one complete revolution with the input turning at 1000 RPM? That's right, it's time for some quick maths. So 100 Google divided by 1000 RPMs equals 1 times 10 to the 99th power. 1 times 10 to the 99th power divided by 60 minutes equals 1.6 repeating times 10 to the 97th power. 1.6 repeating times 10 to the 97th power divided by 24 hours equals 6.94 repeating times 10 to the 95th power. 6.94 repeating times 10 to the 95th power divided by 365 days equals this mess times 10 to the 93rd power. This is the number of years it would take for the output of a 1 to 100 Google Gear ratio to turn once, given that the input is turning at 1000 RPM. By the time it completes probably even a tenth of a revolution, the universe is probably not going to exist by then. I mean, even if you spun the input at a trillion RPM, it's still going to be an unfathomably high number of years before the output completes one revolution. Okay, okay, by this point you're probably thinking, okay, what's the point of all this? The answer is that there really is no point. I just wanted to waste four minutes of your time, and you're never going to get that four minutes back. Take the- No, just kidding, this thing is really meant to be kind of a mind boggler. Besides that, I can say that I successfully wasted two days of my life doing nothing. Please like and subscribe to make up for those two days, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.